Good morning, VHS. I'm Mason Fulton. And I'm Connor Sizemore. And you're watching Cutlass TV, TV News. basketball districts are approaching, here's Kylan Johnson, Kevin Madrid, and Dante Miller with an update on their season. BHS coaches and student athletes talk about how they prepare for the postseason. Coach Underwood talks about the growth of the girls basketball team. Uh, yeah, they're playing uh, much better than any you know, coaches that I've known over the years that you know, I've been around. I'm old, uh, we compete against, uh, watch films, got us, they're all impressed with their growth, they don't get to show it in the Win column, unfortunately, yeah, but uh, they are getting super, super better. Oh, well, we got to play at least on the north, and they're tough. And we've got about 14 films, and I've talked to all the coaches that play them in that conference, and so we got to stop these rap, these two Raptors, and see what we can do. They're like dinosaurs running around off Velociraptors. Coach Tenholder talks about the team's improvement and how they prepare for the postseason. We hit a lot of adversity early on and uh, guys, in a sense, disappearing from our program, getting hurt or other things happening. And so we had to fight through that. We had to learn how to finish games. We were super inexperienced coming into the season. So once we learned that, things kind of changed for us and we started to trust each other more and come together as a whole. For us, the postseason is a little bit different given that we only have one day to actually prepare, but that's okay, it's just business as usual. We'll play tonight against uh, Platte County, then we have one day of practice, and we'll be ready for Lee Summit West, 1.30 here on Saturday. Here is senior Ray Fuller talking about his favorite moment this season. Um, my favorite moment of the season was definitely the Ray Peck game. Um, the momentum and the energy that was happening in that game was just amazing. Um, we started the game like not hitting that many shots, but um, when we started getting to a flow of things, the student section like helped us out a lot. Um, Naheem, we were down 10, Naheem dunked on their center and then it just got changed the momentum of the game. Everybody started hitting shots. Um, I hit an and one three in the corner. That changed uh, the momentum for us a lot. And then we went on a, a big run, and then we ended up winning by 10. I mean, it would be Ray Peck in a couple of years, so it's a good win. Like, it was just big on our program in general. With Kylan Johnson, Dante Miller, I'm Kevin Madrid with Cutlass TV News. New to the school this year, the eSports team has begun competing nationally and taking big wins. More with the story is Connor Sizemore and Caitlin Morrison. The BHS Valorant Esports team has been heading strong into regular competition season after a series of victories during preseason. Just last week, the team won both of their national conference games, one of which with a 13-0 score. Here are Valorant players Mitchell O'Reilly and Endrick Guerrero with their thoughts on the team's performance. Uh, for the esports team, I play uh, Valorant. My main agents are Killjoy and Cypher. I play Sentinel Lurker for the team. I've been playing video games for a while now. I'd probably say I started around when I was like four or five years old. I play Valorant and I play Sobo on almost every match or map because, well, that's one of the best characters on every map. And that's about the only character I ever play, so. Nationals is gonna be difficult and a challenge, but I feel like it's going to be really fun. With Caitlin Morrison, I'm Connor Sizemore, and you're watching Cutlass TV News. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time, and as always, Carpe, Carpe DM. DM.